Joining me today is Jill Ziegler, Director of Corporate Responsibility with Forest City Realty Trust. Jill, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, sustainability initiatives are challenging enough to implement portfolio-wide at companies that just focus on a single asset type. But what are the additional challenges that a company like Forest City that has multiple asset types faces? Well, there are a lot of challenges. Um, you know, it's difficult for us to, you know, pick one sustainability project and roll it out across the portfolio because we're located across the country um, and we also have all those different asset types and do a lot of mixed-use development. So it's just, it's difficult to get economies of scale in that sense. But, you know, there are a lot of opportunities as well, which we've been looking at a lot more recently. You know, we're really focused on urban mixed-use developments. And so that gives us a lot of opportunity to really interact with the cities where we're doing business and um, you know really work to meet their needs just beyond the walls of our actual buildings so it's exciting and can you talk a little bit about how the company's triple bottom line approach integrates sustainability across all of Forest City's activities. We've recently um, converted to a REIT and along with that we did a lot of restructuring organizationally, you know, where people sit in the business and, and what their areas of focus are. And my job as Director of Corporate Responsibility has been moved more towards strategy and communications and I can act sort of as a, a quarterback or strategizer for a lot of different initiatives. Um, I'm the one who's doing all of our external corporate responsibility reporting and so so I understand pretty quickly how we're um, comparing to our peers and how our stakeholders feel about our performance. So it's easy for me to identify gaps and opportunities and then I can take that back to different areas of the business and let them know, you know how we're performing. So whether it's HR or energy and sustainability or even legal or procurement, all of these different areas um, are things that I can keep, keep my eye on and let them know. And last time we spoke, we talked about the importance for developing a, a universal reporting standard for sustainability initiatives. Have we made any progress there, and is it still something that, that's important for the industry? I think it is important for the industry. You know, I mentioned it's, um, it's, easy, it's easier to see how we kind of fit amongst our peers and in the industry when there is a benchmark there. You know, that being said, in 2017, Four Cities planning to do three different reports, GRES, CDP, and GRI, and um, so, I, so I do wish there were fewer. But, you know, they all serve a different purpose right now. Um, you know, we're finding that 90% of our peers are doing GRES, our, our actual peers, I, I look at that closely, so they're reporting through GRES, so I would say that's pretty good standardization, but a, a, more than a quarter are doing CDP, some are doing GRI, and our investors are looking at all of those as well, and there's not a lot of overlap in who's looking at what. So I think for now we still have to stick with you know a few different types of reports, but I do think it's stabilizing a bit. I don't see a lot of new ones cropping up, so, um, so that's good at least. <laughs> and what do you see as sort of the next frontier for sustainability that, that you and, and your peers will be facing in the coming years? Oh, um, it's a little hard to speak for my peers, but um, we're such a unique company, as we mentioned, you know, diversified urban mixed use. But for us, I really think we're, we're starting to look beyond just the walls of our individual buildings, you know, kind of beyond the operations and the energy use and interacting with tenants. I mean, we've kind of, we've got that, you know. So there's always room for improvement, but we've been doing that for a while. So I really think we're gonna look um, at things like resilience and affordable housing and social equity and health and wellness, you know. How, how are our buildings interacting with the cities where they're located in those communities and how do they affect the people who are using them, who live there, work there, shop there? I think really that's the next frontier is just kind of expanding our focus beyond just that one asset. Great. Well, Jill, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For more on real estate and sustainability, be sure to visit REIT.com.